All right, the last things we're going to look at is how do we save this? How do we take it to the machine? How do we turn in what we need for our assignment? So I'm going to hit close. Here, let's bring back up. Let's see here. Let's bring back this right here. All right. So I'm going to run my preview. I'm going to hit preview all toolpaths. All right, let's say this is my assignment that I want to do, or this is what I want to carve out. First thing, saving. Always save your work. VCarve does not save your work automatically, so it's up to you to save it. So go to File, Save As, give it a name, save it somewhere you know, like your Google Drive, and hit Save. All right, I've already saved it. Saving the file on the computer is different than saving the toolpath for the machine. And that is also different than saving the preview image to turn in. All right, so that's just regular saving the computer work. To save the picture for turning it in. So you're gonna run the preview. So you got that preview right there. I'm going to hit save preview image. So when I click on save preview image, you'll notice my save type as Windows bitmap. So I got a BMP, JPEG, PNG, or GIF. So for this assignment, let's save as a JPEG file. So drop down to JPEG. I'm going to put my name, Mr. Brown's CNC project. And we can save that to my Google Drive, save it somewhere where you know it's going to be. But give it a name, put your name on it, JPEG file, hit save. So now I just saved a JPEG file. That's what I'm going to attach to Schoology to turn in. All right. The last thing. So I need to save my toolpaths to a flash drive and bring that over to the machine. So the way we do that is I'm first going to find a flash drive, a little USB drive, and I'm going to plug that into my computer. We'll see if this one works. All right. When you plug it in, it might say there's a problem with that drive. Scan it now and fix it. Just ignore that. But I want to save, let's save this toolpath to my flash drive so I can take that to the machine. So I'm going to check whatever toolpath I need. If you have more than one toolpath, you can check them. And I'm going to hit this little Save Toolpath button right here. So I'm going to save that toolpath. Make sure toolpaths to be saved. Make sure it has all of the toolpaths that you need and none of the toolpaths that you don't need. Next one, Post Processor. Very, very, very important. Click this. The one we are using says CNC Shark USB Arcs inch dot tap. So that'll be up on the board somewhere. Um, but CNC Shark USB Arcs inch. What all of these are are the different brands of CNC machines that are out there. Or not all of them, but a lot of them. Every machine, every brand does something slightly different. So ours is a CNC Shark. Click that one and it should say dot tap at the end and I'm gonna hit save toolpaths. When I hit save toolpaths I'm going to find that flash drive I just had and you'll probably see a bunch of stuff on there already just leave it there. When you are saving it put just your initials and your period number. Just your initials and your period number. If someone else has the same initials just put a you know uh, put, put your last name or your middle initial also. The reason for that is the machine only shows you a couple of letters. It might only show you like six letters. So if I said, you know, awesome CNC whatever, it's only going to show the first couple of letters and you're not going to be able to find it. So put just your initials, just your period number, and hit save. So now that is saved to that flash drive, you can take that to the machine and carve it out. Ta-da!